With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. The question is: Suppose that a reaction has delta H is minus forty kilojoules and delta S is minus fifty joule per kelvin. At what temperature range will it change from spontaneous to non-spontaneous? So in this question, we are given for a reaction delta H value is given minus forty kilojoules and delta S in minus fifty joule per kelvin. So we have to find that temperature range where it will change from spontaneous to non-spontaneous. So for a reaction to be spontaneous. its delta g must be negative and for a reaction to be non spontaneous its delta g is always positive now we have to find out that temperature range where the delta g will be will go from negative or will change from negative to positive so if we check the first option and this is by delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s this is the relation among change in free energy change in enthalpy and entropy delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s that is to find the thermodynamics of a reaction now if we see for the first option that is given from 0.8 kelvin to 1 kelvin so if we take delta g at 0.8 kelvin so that will be delta h is given to us that is minus 40 kilo joule so it will be minus 40 In two thousand joules, because delta S values in joules, so it will be minus forty into thousand joule minus T delta S. So temperature will be point eight Kelvin into the delta S value is minus fifty joule per Kelvin. So this value will be equals to minus forty thousand joule minus this Kelvin is cancelled by per Kelvin. So this will be. Eight by ten, so this is also cancelled. Eight into five, this is forty, so it will be minus forty. Now it will be minus forty thousand joule plus forty joule, so this will give us the negative value because minus forty thousand is very bigger than forty joule. It means in this case the delta G will be negative. So if it is negative, it means the reaction will be spontaneous. Now we check from point eight to one Kelvin. So delta G at one Kelvin, it will be Similarly, we will put the values minus forty thousand joule for delta H minus minus T delta S, and temperature is one Kelvin. So it will be one Kelvin into minus fifty joule per Kelvin. So this will be Kelvin is cancelled by Kelvin. So it will be minus forty thousand joule plus fifty joule. So for this reaction, the delta G will be negative because forty thousand is very big than fifty joule. so it is also spontaneous it means for this temperature range the reaction will be spontaneous so this is incorrect second one is from 799 kelvin to 800 kelvin so if we find the delta g at 799 kelvin so that will be minus 40000 joule for delta h minus t delta s temperature is 799 into minus 50 joule per kelvin So this will give us seven ninety nine into minus fifty. That is. So this gives us the value as minus of fifty joule. So it will also spontaneous. Now we will check it for eighty eight hundred Kelvin. So this will be minus forty thousand joule minus eight hundred Kelvin into minus fifty joule per Kelvin. So this Kelvin is cancelled by Kelvin now. Eight hundred into fifty. This will also equals to minus forty thousand. So it will be minus forty thousand plus forty thousand. So it will be zero. Now it will be not going from spontaneous to non-spontaneous because delta G is zero. This is the equilibrium condition when delta G is zero. So this is not the going from spontaneous to non-spontaneous. So this is also incorrect option. C option is from 800 to 801 Kelvin. So for 800 Kelvin, we have seen that it is zero, and for 801 Kelvin, if we find so, this will also not be the correct option because it is not in spontaneous change. So 
we will check the last option obviously it should be correct because these three are incorrect so we will check the last option that is from 799 to 801 kelvin for 799 kelvin we have find out that it is spontaneous at minus 50 joules so delta g at 801 kelvin this will be delta h value that is 40000 joule minus 40000 into 801 into minus 50 joule per kelvin this will kelvin so this kelvin is cancelled by per kelvin This is 801 Kelvin. This is cancelled. So, 801 into minus 50. So, this gives us minus 40,000 Joule minus of minus 40050 Joules. So, this will be minus 40,000 Joules plus 40,050 Joules. So, it will be plus 50. It means it is going from this to this that is plus 50 is the non-spontaneous because we have discussed earlier that for delta G to be non-spontaneous it's so for reaction to be non-spontaneous it's delta G should be negative and for non-spontaneous it should be positive so now if we see for delta G at 799 Kelvin this is coming out minus 50 joule that is spontaneous and for 801 Kelvin this is coming out 50 Joule plus 50 that is non spontaneous so for this temperature range the reaction will go from spontaneous to non spontaneous so correct answer to this question is D option I hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 ITJ and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today